really you should be trying to do all of these things because if you don't, your store will just fall to the wayside. eBay sales, we all love them. We all want more of them. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how we can get more out of our eBay store this year. If you are new to the channel, I am John Luke. I am a full-time eBay seller. I always get messages and comments asking for tips and tricks. So this video is just gonna sum up how I get the most out of my eBay store. Rule number one, for me, this is the biggest tip I could give to anyone starting eBay or is doing eBay already, wondering why they can't get that consistent sales rate. It's listing daily. To keep that eBay algorithm happy, you've got to be updating your store every day with new items, whether it be five listings or 10 listings or even more. By doing this, it keeps eBay on your side. Your listings are getting pushed more, your store's active, and the algorithm is recommending your items to more people. So it's all well and good listing 10, 20, 30 items a day, but you won't get those sales in if your eBay listings aren't up to scratch so you want to make sure your photos are as best as you can get them you want a plain background or a block color background make sure you use a smartphone for the photos keep your photos within frame make them all look as professional as possible you want to get your titles right get all the details you can in your titles and you want to fill out as many item specifics as possible especially the recommended ones so by doing this you'll have 10 quality listings every day on your store going up if you haven't been doing those things and you start doing it within a couple of weeks you'll see a huge difference on your store but I won't stop there. There's plenty more we can do to make more money on eBay. Me personally, I promote all of my listings by 2%. This increases traffic to all of your listings with your listings appearing higher in the search results. And again, eBay's algorithm is on your side. You're listing daily. You're using good photos. You're promoting listings now. It's just another reason for eBay to push your store. This then becomes a snowball effect. You're getting more sales. You're getting better feedback. You're getting more reputation. And by doing all of these things, the eBay algorithm is happy as Larry. Another way of increasing your sales is definitely sending offers daily. For me, I usually send offers between six and eight o'clock at night when everyone's kind of on their downtime, they've got time to go on eBay and potentially, oh, I'll buy that. But there is no right or wrong time to send your offers. Just make sure you're sending them daily. Again, it boils back down to the eBay algorithm. So it'll notice, oh, this seller is sending offers daily. He's a very active member. He's messaging all of his buyers back within an hour. All of these things, you staying active, getting good feedback, using all the features, messaging people back. Behind the scenes, it's always helping your store out. If you didn't know what the send offer feature is, basically people who are watching your item or have recently viewed it, it'll give you the option to send them an offer a little bit lower than what you've got it listed for. So the buyer will receive a notification with the price you sent them with the listing. And to them, they've been watching it for a few weeks. Now they're happy. 10% off. I'll buy it now. Another very simple thing that some people still don't use is use international shipping. By doing this, you open your store to millions and millions of other people around the world who might want to buy your item. The way I do it is I use the global shipping program. So all I have to do is ship it to the eBay shipping center and they sort out the rest. It is super simple to do. On your postage options, enroll for the global shipping program. For example, I might sell an item to America on the global shipping program. All I have to do is ship it to eBay, which is located in England. You can use Royal Mail, whatever you want, and then they ship it off to America and do the rest. So just by enrolling on the GSP, getting it on all your listings, you're opening your store up to millions and millions of other people. So everyone's got them items on your store that have been hanging around forever. They've been knocking about your stock or your shed or your garage or wherever you're running your eBay empire from. And it just doesn't seem to want to sell. Now there's different ways you can kind of refresh old listings and hopefully get them gone. The first one is you could end the listing and instead of relisting the item, sell similar. So you click on sell similar, It'll come up with the exact same listing. You can tweak the titles, a few specifics and get it relisted again. Maybe knock the price down a little bit. That might help as well. Sell similar just seems to work better than the usual relist feature. As it's a brand new listing to eBay, it's been refreshed. It's totally new. The way I see it is when you relist an item directly, eBay kind of see that as, oh, that's the old listing and it's just the same. So we're not going to push that. It's got a bit of a bad stain on that, that listing. I know it might not make much sense, but yeah, sell similar a lot more effective. Another way of getting rid of that old stock is running promotions. You can get a 10% sale, 20% sale. You can choose which items you want to go in there. You don't have to do it store wide. You can do volume discounts. So you could say, you know, if you buy three items, you get 15% off the whole lot. By using those, it is a good way to engage the buyer on the whole store. You know, they might want something from your store, but it says, oh, buy an extra thing and you get 20% off or 15% off. So they go in your store and then they might flick through and find something. So there's plenty of ways to get rid of that stale inventory. You can run a sale, run a promotion, bulk discounts, 
sell similar and maybe last but not least maybe try and bundle some of the items together if they are similar sometimes it's just good to let go of some things this last little thing a lot of people go through this without realizing it check all of your listed stock just go through it and see what's actually listed because you will be surprised to see that a lot of stuff drops off your store let's say you have 300 active listings on your store you go into your storage unit, you see, you go through everything, you might have five, six, seven, eight things that aren't actually on your store. So by checking that, you can get those relisted, therefore increasing those sales again. Always try and keep on top of your stock because sometimes eBay just think, nah, we're gonna uh, take a few listings down this month. There's no real reason for that. It just seems to happen to absolutely everybody. So the real key to improving your sales this year is be consistent, daily listings, daily send offers, promote your listings, reply to all the messages, be kind, be professional, get that good feedback. It helps, it goes a long way. Use all the features, sell similar, promotions, bulk discounts, use them all. It doesn't harm your store, it only does it good. Right, so if you do all them things, you then have to actually post the items. So if you are new to the channel, this is the garage that I work out of. This is where all the product is stored, photographed and posted from. So before I end today's video, I'm gonna go through all the sales that I've got to send tonight. There's some really cool, strong sales. So it's worth looking out for some of this stuff when you're out in the wild looking for stock. I am actually flying to Amsterdam tomorrow. So I literally just got to get these orders done tonight and then we can put the store on holiday for a couple of days. Okay, so we've got 15 orders to send. All right, so we've got these shirt denim jeans. We a fiver for those and we got 120 for those really good brand to look out for a welsh brand they're actually made in wales so we'll go and get those so that is those there that is the brand really really cool brand made in wales well worth looking out for okie dokie next sale is a vintage tiffany style pyramid design ceiling light we got 34.99 for that we paid three pounds that one is down here it's a really nice design pick this up in the last video you would have seen three pounds it was a charity shop where you pay what you want and i decided to pay three pounds next day we've got a little builder bear there for a tenner that is the how to train your dragon that set us back a pound after that we sold hotel board game for 37 pounds that one is there we did list this a couple of days ago and it sold super quick we paid four pounds from a charity shop for that. Definitely one to look out for. On our photos, we did build it up, made it look really appealing in the photos. That's how you get a nice, quick sale. Next up, we've got this Walking Dead bundle. It's volumes 1 to 13. We did pay 50p each on those volumes, so that would have set us back £6.50. We picked those up in a charity shop. Got our books down in here, and that is those there. Personally, I do have these. I think I've got up to, like, volume 21, and I've not read past that yet. But I was really pleased to find them in a charity shop because I knew they was worth a few bob. I've always done quite well on them father-son shirts, so we sold another one here for £20. That is that one. Brand new with tags, that one. I think we paid about £3 for that. We got 20 Next up, we've got Sequins for £22.99. We did pay £2 for that. This one is a quick seller, so if you find it, definitely worth grabbing. After that, we've got this Hackett London jacket. We paid £6 for that, and we got 55 This one is in here because it's not been put into a box yet. That is a really nice jacket in good condition. That is the brand there. Look out for that. It's got like a leather collar. I think it's faux leather. Then we've got some Valentino jeans that we paid £3 for. Oh, just had an offer. We'll take that. We'll get that sold. So we've got this Fresh Prince listed for 29 99 We've had an offer of 25 So we will take that. So as I was saying before, we sold some Valentino jeans for £21. Not as sought after as you would think, but uh, we paid £3. We got 21 That is those there. They do look smart, to be fair. Especially for £21. Can't go wrong. Next up, we sold this Le Creuset casserole pot for 49 99 We did pay £8 for that in the last video. That one is down here. Lovely pot. Pretty self-explanatory. Really good brand to look out for, Le Creuset. Look out for the glowing orange volcanic pots. We did sell a Pokemon playing card for $6.99. We did sell a bit of media here as well. So a Shenyun Symphony Orchestra for $17.99. We paid a pound for that. And then a copy of GTA San Andreas. We paid a pound for that. So we'll get those out. That is that card there. Doesn't owe us anything. And then the media is in there. And then our media is in there. So Fresh prints just sold. They're not paid yet, but I'll assume they will. Hopefully, $24.99. Shen Yun Orchestra, $17.99, paid a pound. And then GTA San Andreas, a classic. I think we got six pound for that. Look at that. Definitely my favourite thing to sell is the media. Nice and easy. Last couple of bits that sold, we sold a St. Michael jumper for £12. And we got a Jules Harbour tea for $17.99. So that is that one there, paid a couple of pounds for that. We got $17.99. 
good brand to look out for of course and that is the jumper for 12 pound as well it's just an old bit of stock that i wanted to get rid of it actually got returned because someone didn't like the neckline um so yeah 12 pound for that one right i better get cracking anyway i've got to get this lot packed and dropped off I've got to edit this video, get it out for you guys tomorrow. If you did enjoy today's video and you did learn something, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you are new. Plenty more educational videos coming soon as well as the car boots and the charity shops and all that good stuff. Link down below in the description, we've got my Facebook group, Happy Days Resellers. We've also got my Instagram page where I'm posting daily now. There's also links to everything I use in my business from packaging supplies to lights, printers, all that good stuff. It's all linked down below. Anyway, have a great week, everyone. It's been good. I'll see you next time.